Hello and welcome to this amazing video. This video we are going to talk about something really interesting and you have to give me like a moment so that I can set the configurations and stuff over here. So thank you so much for joining. We are recording this on 9th of July 2022. 2136 is uh, 9.36 p.m. not a.m. Thank you so much for joining in and I'm just going to play the playlist over here of the rain going on inside my head. Yes, that's that. That's how I do things. That's how we do things. Hang on. Like, no disturbances, right? Play for just skip advertisements. If you want to know what I hear, it's like the rain sort on the window all the time when I'm recording it so that it keeps me on, not on toes, see. It doesn't keep me, keep me on toes, but it really keeps me, helps me dis, not get distracted. Cool. Thanks so much for joining in. We are going to talk about what, with what email ID to open social accounts with. Now, you may have, this, this is like a tactical, uh, this is going to be a tactical strategy for you where this might not be a relevant video for you. This may not be a priority video for you. You can just skip this video and watch something else which is more productive and which is as a priority for you. Thanks so much for doing that. And now that you are here, this is video is just for you who wants to open social media accounts, say YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc, etc. And with what email ID should I be opening? So with my own experience, I have, I've got, I use a certain, certain platforms I use with my personal email ID and certain platforms I use with my professional ID anyway, the domain account that we are going to talk about. So this, based on these two, we are going to say, okay, okay cons, which ID is going to go where? So point number one is the first and foremost, Facebook. For Facebook, you are now you are having three options over here. You've got a face, Facebook profile, your personal profile. You've got Facebook group and Facebook page. So we need to be having page so that we are going to run advertisements. We need to be having group so that we can put the all like-minded people, cold audience, hot audience, warm audience, members and stuff into that group. And the profile is your personal profile. So when you're opening, when you want to open a group and and, and a page, open it with your own personal profile. Keep your personal profile private so that nobody, not the whole, no, nobody, nobody from your professional world gets inside your list. They'll be sending you friend requests and stuff like that. But then we don't want to entertain. If you don't want to entertain them, we don't entertain them. Just have like private profile. Don't, don't allow anyone. Just put the barrier over them. But then make sure that you're using opening Facebook page and the Facebook group with this account. You know why one of the reasons is the algorithm. When you're opening a new account and opening a page and then opening a group with a new brand new account, what, what is generally going to happen is not generally going to happen, but what happens is Facebook might think when you're running advertisements, the algorithm might be thinking you as a bot. We don't want that. So we have an existing account. We've been, we've been having accounts for like years now. So we can 100% say that that's not a bot. So keeping your profile private, Opening multi, you can open multiple groups. You can open multiple, multiple pages. You can you can change around that. You can change names multiple times. Uh, you can change the name of the group multiple times. I've done a lot of times. You can change the name of the profile stuff like that. So this is how it is. Cool. Personal profile private. You can keep it private. You can open group and the account group and the page with the same existing profile that you've already got. So whatever email you email address you have used already existing, you can continue using the same thing. So that's point number one. Point number two is the YouTube. And when it comes to YouTube, YouTube has got the whole world in itself, but then you just need to create a page into that one. And Facebook, YouTube generally has given you all the privileges altogether. So you can continue using the same, what, the same name you've been using to consume the videos, as in watch the videos, watch the movies, watch the songs. That's the consumption part of the whole YouTube is different. The production part of the whole YouTube is completely different. So you can you can continue using the same email ID what you've been using. I've been using Gmail for like so many years now. Again, I what I just used like okay, this world is different. This world is different. But I'm going to use the same account. So the same account goes over here. Cool. So this is the same account. The third one is going to be the next question is going to be Instagram. So what do I want to be using on Instagram? Now Instagram can be tricky where and you have got a Facebook profile, your personal, personal private Facebook profile. And the same email ID is now you being already been used over here with Instagram. So you already have an account over here with the same email ID. Now we cannot open another account with the same email ID because you've already using it. Here is where you need to be introducing the private, the the domain. Say for example, for me, I'll, I'll give you my example. Support. I have got a website called shafazil.com. Cool. So deriving from that, what I did, I opened an email ID from that domain, support at shafadal.com. So that's an email ID. That's a professional email ID where everything, when it comes to work and accounts and bills and stuff, it comes with it. 
so i have opened that one so what i would recommend you is like open an account with whatever website you've got dot com so add dash dot com so based on that you can create uh, an email id and you can open a new account on instagram with that domain account now there are two things because you can have you can continue using the same instagram account and build your business over that account that's one way of doing it some people are comfortable doing it some people are not comfortable doing it what you can do is you can create different account you can start from scratch when it comes to instagram so like you can do these are two options of your third third the fourth and final fourth not least but not least one what i'm going to say is all other paid platforms that you're going to invest in say the paid platform say for example zoom account click for this convert kit zapier and all those paid platforms that you're going to use where you're going to pay bills and stuff make sure you're using the domain account let's say for example shafzal dot support at shafzal dot com or contact at shafzal dot com whatever that is using using that account instead of the gmails instead of your personal account so these are the personal these are professional where every bill that comes like you're going to pay monthly you're going to have you people are going to miss mail you people are going to reach out to you instead of using the gmail use the professional id where domain account where people are where you can sound professional people are going to use look at you as a credible person because whom do you want to message someone who's having an email id someone who's doing great in business and still have a gmail account or someone who's got a professional professional domain account so that's what differentiates from the whole world and the entrepreneurs and people who are doing something legit so the four accounts facebook youtube instagram and all of the platforms so i hope this answers the question so i'm going to dive into the different video right now which is six steps to delegating the work the tactical strategy so we've kind of jotted on six uh six steps not ways not methods not mistakes but then six ways of delegating something so i'm going to record that right now thanks so much for making this video me and the topic about our video hope this helped you put that in the, put in the comment section have how have this helped you and thanks so much i'm going to see you there may peace and business be upon you and your loved ones